So, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Sam X1 here, guys. And today I'm with my friend James. James, how are you doing today? Good, man. How are you? I'm good, thank you. James, I know you have one of the most expensive <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh decks I've ever seen in my entire life. To be honest, bro, I saw this deck right here, and bro, my eyes started hurting. <laughs> it's crazy, man. There's a lot of shiny stuff that's in here, and I know a lot of you guys that love high rarity stuff. You know, there's a lot of community out there that loves high rarity cards, and James is one of the person I know that has the most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh deck of all time. And what deck is this, James? Uh, it's Chaos for Gold Format. So Gold Format. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't play current anymore. I stopped playing in 2012 yes but uh, i love Yu Gi Oh so much that i couldn't stop playing and uh we just play go format now okay okay so uh guys this video is not going to be like you know your standard norm video of you know the current meta game and stuff i kind of want to do something a little bit different showcase you guys the history of Yu Gi Oh and what this deck's impact was back in the day so if for those of you who do not know what gold format is james can you explain to like to them a little bit about gold format like what's gold format <laughs> So it's basically a legacy format from 2005. Right. Uh, it's widely considered one of the most skillful, most fun formats. Um, there's a lot of back and forth. Games would usually go like 30 to 40 turns instead of the six turns that happen right now. Not six, two turns. Two turns. <laughs> two turns, yeah, man. Uh, you could bluff, you could, there were so many mind games you could play. Um, the deck had so many different outs to your board, so you could, Play out of any situation really if you played well right so this is uh so like you mentioned earlier this is a legacy format deck mm -hmm. so for those of you who want to play goat they can definitely just pick it up and just play with your friends or anyone that is you know old school Yu Gi Oh. you can always you know play this deck right yeah it's uh you can check out goatformat.com they have tons of different decks for you uh you can get into it for like 20 bucks 20 bucks every every card has been reprinted like 10 times uh everything is common so it's super cheap to play really fun um but I just like the blink. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so how long have you been collecting this deck, James? This has taken me probably five or six years. Five or six years to collect this entire deck. All right, guys, and today I'm gonna to see how expensive this thing is right now here on YouTube. All right, James, without further ado, let's show us the blink, bro. Let's get started. All right, so two Chaos Sorcerer. Okay, so what is this? These so, guys are like 40 bucks each. Wow, um, that looks beautiful, bro. Basically, special summon by removing light or dark, and you can banish a monster. So it's a free plus one. Okay, so uh, your deck is uh, Chaos Gold Control, basically. Right, right. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so so these are forty bucks each. Yeah. So we got eighty bucks right there, cash, boom, cash money. Uh, Magician of Faith. How much is she? Uh, I think it's like one thirty right now. One thirty each. Yeah. Yo, you're crazy. One hundred and thirty dollars each. And what's so special about this Magician of Faith right here? Uh, so when you flip it up, you get to add a spell to your hand, so you can get back your power cards like Pot of Greed. Wait, wait, wait. Pot of Greed was legal back then? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, sick. CP Knight Assailants. These guys are about hundred dollars each. Oh my God, what is this, man? Oh, so these aren't English? No, these are the Germans. Okay, so if it's English, does that mean it's gonna be a little bit more expensive? Yeah, yeah. I, okay, 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 cool, cool. But uh, basically, this card, when it's discarded uh, from your hand, you get to add a flip effect monster back, so you can add back your Magician of Faiths. I uh, gotta have the Breaker, so it's from TP. Yeah. Uh, that guy's about a hundred each. A hundred dollars. Sukiyomi, uh, ultimate from Astral Pack, basically lets you flip your flip effect monsters back down so you can reuse them. Uh, lets you flip your Thousand Eyes Restrict face down so you can suck up their monster again. Uh, this guy's about $40. $40, nice. Sangen, uh, from Retro Pack. Uh, this is the Italian version, so it's not as expensive as the English version, but um, yeah, search all your important monsters. Nice, how much is this? Uh, I think the Italian version is about 30. 30 bucks, okay, cool, nice. Wow, is that mint? Ulti first, Dekoichis. Uh, this is mint, right? I, I've never seen anything so crisp before like this. Dekoichis. I sort of like, I have one of these, but they're damaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all mines are damaged. Dekoichis a uh, nice looking card. Wow. Especially when it's mint. Yeah, basically flip it face up, draw a card. It's cool. Nice, how much is this? Those are like 20 each. 20 each, that's it? Why is it so little? Haven't been bought out yet. Oh, okay, cool, <laughs> nice. Uh, these guys aren't worth too much. Okay, but they're in your but, deck? Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, Dark Mimic, 
Same as Dekoichi, flip it up, draw, one. draw a card. You run it because it's level one, you can use it with Metamorphosis. Uh, and then Azura Priest and DD Warrior Lady are just staple lights. Thunder Dragons, this is how you get your lights in the graveyard. Right. Obviously, these aren't worth as much. And then we get into the heavy hitters. The heavy hitters, so these are. What, what is that? Is this a super, super rare? This comes as a super rare. So. Wait, is this a common? No. Oh my, it's a super rare. What is this, TFK? What, what's TFK? So, it's the Falsebound Kingdom. Uh, this version was only available in Spain in a uh, video game. Yeah. And uh, the video game didn't sell well, so there aren't very many available. And uh, yeah, only, only in Spain. And how much does it cost? Uh, for near mint, I've gotten offers between 1200 and 1400 Wow. 1200 USD for this. Are you serious? For one card? That's what it goes for. This is a Prismatic BLS, a Black Luster Soldier from uh, Korea. Wow. So it's a prize card that was only available for a few months. Um, it's worth about 400. 400 USD right now. This is the boss monster of the GOAT deck. So you remove a light and dark monster, you can either attack twice or banish uh, a monster. Yeah, James, you know what's crazy? The game has changed so much that this card is at three now. Wow. This card is I, at three. I didn't even know that. You actually did not know? No, I did not know. Yeah, this is at three right now in the current format. With the current effect? Yes, with the current effect it has. And it, nobody There's, uses it? No, nobody uses it. That's sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, this is tribe affecting. What is this, man? Duelist League? Uh, no, it's Hobby League. No, it's not even Hobby League. What is this? It's from PC7. It's Japanese, parallel rare. Uh, it's worth about 200. Wow. That is crazy, man. So that's the monsters. That's the monsters. Cool. So getting into the spells. Three Book of Moon. Wow. I, okay, I know this is expensive. Metamorphosis? Is this the... What is this? Yeah, CP meta. So... How much does it cost? These are, I think, are about 250 each right now. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Um, it's the only version in the TCG and OCG that comes hollow. Heavy, Heavy. Storm first. Uh, 30 bucks. Staple. Yeah, about 30 bucks. Snatch Steal. First edition. Yeah, steal your opponent's monster. You know that this card was unbanned for a format in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG? It was unbanned and then it got banned immediately, the next ban list. It was too good. Makes sense. Okay, so how much are these cards right here? So is this a first edition D Duelist Pack Kaiba? Yeah, ulti. So I think that's like 35. Yep. Uh, Delinquent Duo is 25 and Graceful is probably only... Five bucks. Five bucks, yeah. Cool. But uh, these were the power spells of the format. Um, basically opening one of these cards give you a huge advantage to, to start a game. Yeah, another form of spell and trap removal. This is the ulti from Astral Pack. Uh, I think it's about 60. 60 bucks, cool. Yeah. Nobleman of Crosset. 10 bucks each, around there. Yeah, first sets, these uh, these are important for getting rid of all the pesky face down flip effect monsters. Card destruction. So you run this in the Chaos version. Uh, you can discard Thunder Dragon, Sinister Serpent, and then Scapegoat, uh, what the format was named after. Really good defensive card. Uh, probably the best trap of the format, Ring of Destruction. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's the retro pack version. It's about 100, I think. Look at that sparkliness on there. I think everyone will recognize these guys. Torrential yep. and Mirror Forest first yes. red. Very uh, iconic right here, Mirror yeah. Forest. And then a couple more traps. Uh, Sakuretsu armor, just a standard, like, kill something that attacks. I think the most expensive card in the extra deck is the ultimate version of Thousand Eyes. How much is this? About 60 bucks now, I think. What is this? It's uh, Japanese, so it's the only ulti print of it available. Uh, it wasn't printed as an ulti in English, but I do have the first sets from PSV as well. Gatling Dragon is another one you're going to bring out pretty often. Um, you can use meta on uh, Black Luster Soldier and basically flip coins to destroy monsters. How much is this? 15 bucks? Yeah, like 15 bucks for the first one, uh, ultimate. Dark Balter, uh, he negates spells, yep. uh, destroys flip effect monsters without them giving the effect. Um, you can make him using Air Knight or Thunder Dragon. Use some other level fives. Damn. Level threes and level fours. So uh, if you ever you need to get your Sangin off quickly, you can use meta on a Sangin to get your Sinister Serpent. Um, the only time you'd use 
this guy is if uh, you need to push for damage and all you have is Tsukiyomi. So you can set the Tsukiyomi, use meta to get 1500 damage. And we got the level sixes, Ryu Senshi. So you can make him off uh, Chaos Sorcerer. Um, he negates traps and any spells that target him. And here's some more level sixes. Cool, which I'm a king. Nice. Yeah, he clogs up their your opponent's field so they can't do anything. Uh, this guy removes stuff from the graveyard. This guy just can't be attacked, I don't think. I've never made him in my life. <laughs> <laughs> we got some of the big boys. So uh, this guy, you'd have to snatch to a Demok or use Cyberstein. Basically, uh, your opponent can't, or nobody can summon once he's on the field. So you want to use him against uh, like Dimension Fusion decks. Mm -hmm. And then Master of Oz is just a really, big. really big boy. Big beat stick. Big beat stick, yeah. Make him with Cyberstein. All right, cool. Let's go off to your side deck. I know that your side deck is also like very expensive. Yeah, so we got some CP Spies. How much is this? These guys are like 70 each. Damn, so 140 for those two? Cool. We got an ulti Blade Knight. Beautiful. How much is this? Pen. I think this guy was like 25. Nice. Uh, basically, you can attack over flip effect monsters and they don't get their effect. We got another scapegoat. Royal Decrees from TP4. How much is this? These guys are like 100 each, I think, right now. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Negate all the spells or. The traps. Yeah, negate all the traps. We got our hand control guys here. Trap Dush is super rare. How much does this cost? These guys are like 70 each. $70 each for this. Really good one going first. Uh, really good sided against Chaos. Uh, basically, get to see your opponent's hand and throw back their monster, mess with their strategy. Wow. Then we got a little bit more hand control, the mind controls. Are you super rare? Super rare. So you can call any card, and if your opponent has it, they have to discard it. Yo, you know in the current format, you're not allowed to look at your opponent's hand with mind crush? I did know that. That's stupid. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, then we got Mobius. Uh, you side him against heavy trap decks. You can sacrifice the Gravekeeper Spy, destroy two spells or traps. Mind control, uh, side that against chaos, steal their chaos monsters and banish stuff. How much is that? I honestly don't know. I think it's probably like 10 or 15 bucks. And then uh, the cyber steins. I don't see. No, <laughs> I wish. Are you on your way to getting them though? That's a, that's a big purchase. How much are, uh, do SJC cost? Probably like 2,500 at least. Each? Yeah, each. Wow. All right, James, next tech profile. Definitely can see those in your, in your deck, for yeah, sure. We'll see. All right, let's go off to your non-deck non, non deck cards, but these are the extra gold cards you have, right? Yeah, so sometimes I'll sub these in, or there's just some different rarities. All right, let's go. So we got the third Chaos Sorcerer. Yep. It's another 40. We got the ulti version of Black Luster Soldier. Is this Korean or Japanese? Uh, Japanese. This guy is uh, about 100, and it just looks amazing. Wow, beautiful. We got the TP2 version of Morphing Jar. How much does it cost? This guy is like about 500, I think. Near Mint is 1,000. All right, now, uh, James, I have a question. Isn't there a thing called Jinzo Jar? Yeah, so there is one version of the Morphing Jar where you can actually see Jinzo in the background. Unfortunately, uh, that's not this one. Uh, we got a second Tsukiyomi. 40. We got a couple of Champion Pack uh, Magical Merchants. How much are these guys? These guys are like 70 each. Um, Holy moly. We got a couple more big booty guys, legendary jujitsu master. Uh, same thing as spy. You just want to play them against decks with uh, high attack. Um, they bounce their your opponent's monsters back. We got first set air knight parshak. Mm. These guys are about twenty five each right now. I think. First sets, yeah. We got DD assailant, so, dr four. Wow, how much is this? This guy ranges a lot. Uh, I've seen between like hundred and three hundred. Uh, he got ran in twos in go format back in two thousand five, but. Unfortunately, it doesn't see too much play anymore. We got our third CP Metamorphosis. This is 250? Yeah. We got Ultra First MST. I think like 30, 35. Nice. We got a First Ed Premature. Ulti Lightning Vortex. Like 30 bucks? Yep. Beautiful. Phoenix Wing Unblast. Uh, the Ulti at First, I think, is 50. Wow, beautiful. You can sub this for Reikiki Break. We got a First Ed called The Haunted. Mm -hmm. How much is that, 25? Yeah, 25. Threatening Air CP, I think that's 10 bucks. Basically, it's good against the OTK decks. OTK decks. We got another Sakuretsu armor. Another $70? Yeah. Wow. 
and we got the ulti version of Ring of Destruction. How much does this cost? 25? I think, I think this one's like 25 to 30. It's not as much as the retro pack version right now. Wow. This right here, you would say, is like the most expensive card. Oh, for sure. Like the most rarest card. It's the crown jewel of the, the gold deck. Wow, this is your crown jewel. Wow. This was obviously like an investment, right? Like cards go up over time. Yeah, so a lot of these cards have gone up five, ten times as much since I since I got them. Wow. Like Metamorphosis was a ten dollar card. Really? You could get these for ten dollars. Like super rares? Yeah. But now there's 250 bucks. People want to play go format. That is that is crazy. James, thank you so much for this awesome deck profile. One question, are these cards legal in tournaments, like the Japanese ones? Like, well, well go usually play for fun, right, with your yeah, friends? Well, uh, yeah, anytime you go to a Go format tournament, uh, they're usually pretty easy going about using OCG cards. I've never had them say, like, you can't use this card because it's from uh, the OCG. James, thank you so much for this awesome deck profile. This is the most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh deck I've ever profiled, James. You know that. You're making history here on Team Samurai X1. Guys, if somebody out there has a more expensive deck than this, show James. Honestly, from my side, I just love Go Format so much. So I just want that format to grow so that there's more people playing. It's so much fun. Pick up a deck for 20 bucks, play with your friends. Pick yeah. up two so that you have one for your friends to play too because uh, it's just so much fun. All right, game. So like we were talking about earlier, you said you had an Instagram account, right? For yeah, GOAT? It's basically a GOAT format uh, Instagram account, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh underscore GOAT underscore format. Basically tips and tricks, uh, showing off some of the high rarity stuff, and uh, like I said, some strategies, deck profiles. Uh, check it out if you want to learn more about Go Format. Okay, cool, guys. I'll leave that on the screen for you guys to check out. James, thank you so much for this awesome deck profile. And this is the most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile I've ever profiled here on the channel. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam, signing out. All right, guys, peace.